So is that why there's so much more spectacle to try to hide that there's lack of story in, in, in Hollywood movies nowadays? Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it's, and it's based on a false assumption, one we talked about earlier, mm-hmm. that, oh, what, what gets him into the seats is all the special effects, all the spectacle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, when, I'm, when I'm seeing a superhero movie, I better have some of that. No question about it. Mm-hmm. But that's not what gets him into the seats. Um, the, the, the other reason that TV has far surpassed film is the economic model. Because the Hollywood studios are designed to appeal to a worldwide audience for each film. They have to make a very narrow form of story that appeals essentially to mm-hmm. men anywhere from 15 to 25 to 30 years of age. Mm-hmm. Worldwide. Okay, what does that mean? That means myth, warrior, superhero stories, right? That where that's where we can make our money. That's why I always tell writers, in, 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 unless you're willing to write a superhero story, Hollywood doesn't want to talk to you. They all they want is blockbusters. But what's the difference with television? Television fractured from the three channels, right? Hundreds of channels and Netflix and Amazon, all making narrow casting. I don't have to appeal when I make Breaking Bad or Mad Men, I don't have to appeal to 15 year old boy. Mm -hmm. I am appealing to a very intelligent segment of the population. Mm -hmm. And it's also a much more select audience than even at the major networks. Used to be, uh, you had to have a hit in the uh, on a network show. You had to add twenty million viewers. Right. Mad Men at the peak of its popularity. This is, in my opinion, the greatest TV show in history, and certainly one of the top five. Mm-hmm. It had three million viewers. Wow. Now, when you when you don't have to appeal to that m- mediocre audience, mm-hmm. that's in the middle, you can do things that that stretch, that are not only great examples in and of themselves of a work of art, but they stretch the medium of television to being a, 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 a medium that is at its highest art form. And so what you've seen really in the last 20 years is the same thing that happened to novels in about 17, the mid 1700s when it became an art form. It happened in movies in the early 1900s when it became an art form. This happened at the beginning of this century with television. And what we've seen is what they call it, they rightfully call it the golden age of television, and it's because the writing is serial story structure, and guess what? The other key factor, writers control television. <laughs> I, I absolutely despise the auteur theory that says the director is the author of the film. I think it's one of the biggest pieces of nonsense ever. Mm-hmm. And one of the ways you prove it is, Look at the medium that has now come under the control of, of writers. Writers run it. Mm-hmm. Right? When you put writers in control of a story medium, guess what? You get great stories. 